Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. It has been so long since I've done a favorites video and I think it's honestly because I have tried everything there is to try <laughs> and I've found all of my favorite things that exist in the sewing world. Um, I have been toying around with like branching out and doing favorites like in other areas of my life. I just don't know if you guys would be interested in watching that or not. So are you interested in like lifestyle type of favorites or like beauty and I don't know. Let me know if you would like for me to continue to do a monthly favorites video even if it's not necessarily about sewing because I am running out of things to try. Um, also, if you've got anything that you think is really awesome that I haven't mentioned before, you haven't seen me mention before, leave that in the comments so that I can try it. Maybe there's something I've just never heard of before. But after all these months, I all these months I have rounded up a whopping three favorites for you for this month. Um, the first one is something I know that a lot of you already do, and that is to use a rotary cutter for cutting out your patterns. But I have to tell you, this is not my first rodeo with trying rotary cutters. For one reason or another, I cannot figure out for the life of me why this Fiskars and this Olfa purchase both of them don't work. They don't cut through the fabric. I don't know why. I can't figure it out. I've taken them apart. I've put them back together. I don't know. Is it user error? I'm not sure. But um, Cricut sent me, when I made that quilt um, for them, they sent me like a rotary kit. So it came with this. It came with a mat. Is that it? This and a mat? Maybe, oh, and maybe a ruler, a very large ruler. And I was like, oh, here we go again, another rotary blade that I'm not going to be able to use. But I can. It works. I don't know. What's the difference? I don't know what's happening. But this has worked great. I'm completely converted. Now that I have a rotary blade that works, I am just completely addicted to cutting out my patterns this way. Um, I got real nervous when I had to change the blade because I was like, I'm going to screw something up and it's going to stop working, but it still works. So I am so happy about that. So if you've had issues with these guys in the past for whatever reason, go try Cricuts. I'll leave a, a, a link in the description box to where you can find this exact one. I don't know what it is. If, you, if you've ever not been able to use these and then figured out how to use them, let me know that too because right now they're just literally collecting dust over in my scissor tray. But um, rotary blade for your cutting out your patterns is wonderful, especially for those like slippery fabrics, linings, things that are really thin and lightweight that once you get it laid out, you don't want to like move the fabric very much to put pins in. It is everything everyone says it is so long as you can get your rotary blade to work. Um, next up, I have the um, By Annie Soft and Stable Foam Interfacing. I don't really know what else to call it. Um, it this is it. It's really not much. It reminds me a lot of, you know, in your car, like that stuff that's on the roof of your car that's like kind of brushed foamy car insulation. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Um, it comes in two colors, black and white, and it is wonderful. I probably will never, ever, ever use that super stiff Pellin um, interfacing that you get at Joann. That stuff to me, I never liked it, but I didn't know what else to use. Um, so now I know this is it. This is what you should be using. So basically what it does is it adds a layer of um, interfacing to your project that allows it to stand up. So this is for stuff that you wouldn't use this in garments. This is for like bags and for different accessories and things that you need to have some um, sturdiness to, but you still need to be able to move it around. It needs to be malleable. You need to be able to bend it and fold it and turn things right sides out and, you know, and not have it be like a complete nightmare. Um, that's what soft and stable is. I used it in my koozie tutorial and you can see the koozies stand up, but you can also like bend them around. Do you know what I mean? Like 
it's not difficult to do at all. Um, so I also use them in the bag. So you can see there's nothing in this bag, but it completely supports itself. It's not slouchy. It's not falling over. It's like standing up really, really great. But at the same time, you know, you can bend it and fold it and do things that you need to do to it. The stuff really is great. I can't tell you enough wonderful things about it. Um, I love it. So if you're into making bags or into making accessories or like, I don't know, little like, um, anything where you would use like a thicker, sturdier interfacing, swap it out with that. It is a sew in product. So it's an extra step, but, um, I promise you, like it's going to yield much, much better results. and You're going to be much happier with your project whenever you're done. Uh, not only how it looks, but also how usable it is and how not homemaker-y it is. It's very, it, it makes your project kind of feel professional in the end, which is good. Okay, and then the last thing I have, so Amazon Prime Day came and I did come across this handheld steamer and I gotta say, it is pretty awesome. So it's little, as you can see, it's only as big as my hand. You can only put a little bit of water in there. So it's not like you're going to like knock out a whole rack of clothes or anything. But if you've got like, um, I don't know, wrinkles in your clothes from storing them, like in your projects from storing them or works in progress, or if you've got some wrinkles that you need to come out um, of your finished projects, you know, before you give them their final, you know, touches. This thing is really great. I can even use it on my um, dress form because my dress form is like, um, is like plastic and foam and not like, you know, anything that gets on it is just going to dry out. Um, so I can use it while the garment is hanging on my dress form, which is really nice for like skirts and things. Um, and it's just so little and so compact and kind of still sleek and cool looking. Um, so this is a favorite. I think this is something you should always have in your sewing room, um, because you don't always want to apply like a lot of direct heat to something. Um, you just need to get out some light wrinkles. Um, this guy is going to do that for you without you having to like lay it out on your ironing board and, you know, get the iron super hot and so on and so forth. So a little handheld steamer is my third and final favorite for September, August, July, June. I can't even tell you the last time I did a favorites video. So if you like the favorites video and you want me to continue to show you some awesome products, let me know if you think it's cool if I branch out or let me know of some of your favorite things so that I can start trying them out and see if I want to feature them in the video. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to do it. It's a nice short and sweet one for y'all this month. But um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.